In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss the income and substitution effects with some numbers. This video is part of a playlist on consumer theory, and you can see a link to that playlist below. In this video, I'm going to decrease the price of good X, and I'll show you the income and substitution effects for a normal good and also for a inferior good. I will also increase the price of good X and show you income and substitution effects for a normal and inferior good. I'm going to start with a normal good. Along the x-axis, I'm going to have quantity of good x. Along the y-axis, quantity of good y. And I'll draw in a budget line and an indifference curve. The consumer will consume at point A and consume four units of good x. Now I'm going to have a price decrease of good X, so the quantity of good X is going to go up. The budget line rotates outwards, so the consumer can actually buy more of good X, like that. I'm going to draw in a second indifference curve. So the consumer will move to point B and consume 17 units of good X at that point. And this distance there is the total effect. Total effect is 17 units minus four units for a total effect of 13 units. I should probably label these in difference curves, one and two. Now I'm going to break the total effect into two parts, the substitution effect and the income effect. And to do this, I'm going to take the new budget line after the price decrease and bring it back parallel until it's just tangent to the first indifference curve. And this line I pull back is parallel to the new budget line, so it's parallel. And I'm going to move down the indifference curve to the point where it's tangent right there, and I'm going to label that C. And at that point, the consumer consumes 10 units of X. So the substitution effect is 10 minus 4. And I'll label that S for the substitution effect. Now I will move the budget line back to its correct location, which is point B right there. Again, I'm just, to do the substitution effect, I just move it back and forth parallel like that. And this distance right there is the income effect. And that's 17 minus 10. And I will label that I. The total effect is going to be that distance. And it's going to be the substitution effect plus the income effect is the total effect. Which is 17 minus 4. And this is equal to 13. I could also take 6 plus 7, which is 13. Now I will show you the income and substitution effects for an inferior good. For an inferior good, if income goes up, quantity consumed goes down. Again, overall, the price of X goes down, but the quantity consumed of X goes up. Let me show you that now. So the budget line rotates out like it did before. I draw in a second indifference curve, looks like that. And at point B, the consumer is going to consume seven. So the total effect is seven minus four. I will label that T. For the substitution effect, I will take that 
budget line, the new budget line, and I'll make another line. I'll drag it back parallel until it's tangent with the first indifference curve. I will move from point A to point C. And at this level, the consumer is going to consume 10 units of good X. So 10 minus 4 is the substitution effect. And I will label that S. I will put the budget line back where it belongs. The income effect is actually going the other way. And it's 7 minus 10 or negative 3. And I'll label that I, the income effect. The total effect is 7 minus 4 or plus 3. The price of X goes down. The quantity of X consumed by the substitution effect increases. And the quantity of X due to the income effect actually decreases. The total effect is going to be 6 plus a negative 3 or plus 3. I want to show you the income and substitution effects for a normal good with a price increase. The consumer starts at point A and will consume a quantity of X of 14 units. The price of X goes up so the consumer will consume less of quantity of X. So what you're going to see is, is that the budget line is going to rotate inward and the consumer will be able to buy less. I will draw in another indifference curve and the consumer will consume at point B and consume four units of quantity of good X. So the total effect is that distance there. I'll label that T. Like before, I'm going to take the total effect and show you the substitution effect and the income effect. So the substitution effect, I do the same thing. I take the new budget line and move it out parallel to the new line. So it's parallel. Until it's just tangent to the first indifference curve. I move along the first indifference curve to that point right there and I'll label that point C and the consumer now consumes seven units of good X and that is going to be labeled S for substitution effect. I will move the budget line back right there. The remaining distance I'll label I for the income effect. So as the price of X goes up, the quantity of X consumed goes down. The substitution effect is that distance, which is 7 minus 14. Seven minus 14 is equal to negative seven. The income effect is the remaining distance, and that's gonna be four minus seven. And this would be equal to negative three. The total effect is going to be 4 minus 14 and this is going to be equal to negative 10. 
negative 7 plus a negative 3 is negative 10. And now let me show you the same for an inferior good. Like before, the price of x goes up and the quantity of good x will go down. The budget line rotates inward like this. The consumer will buy less. Let me draw in another indifference curve, a second indifference curve. And the consumer will now consume at point B, which is going to be 8 units of X. So their total effect is going to be that distance there, and I'll label that T. And I'll break that into substitution and income effects. So the total effect becomes 8 minus 14 or negative 6. For the substitution effect, I take the new budget line and just slide it back until it's just tangent with the first indifference curve. So I move from point A to point C along the indifference curve. And now the consumer consumes seven units. And I'll label that S. The substitution effect is seven minus 14, which is equal to negative seven. The income effect is going to be the remaining distance, or that little distance right there. I'll highlight in yellow. Remember, as income goes down, the quantity consumed of an inferior good goes up. I'll label that I. And the income effect is 8 minus 7. Or positive 1. The substitution effect is negative 7. I add these two together and this gives me a total effect of negative 6 or negative 7 plus 1 is negative 6. So in this tutorial I showed you income and substitution effects for normal inferior goods with a price increase and a price decrease. As always share the knowledge, share the love, Google+, Facebook, and Twitter. Links down below Subscribe and make sure you like us on Facebook.